So we came back to the Bra to the Bryce School site this year to follow up on some of the cool things that we were finding at the end of the last season. At the end of the last season, we came across a pit feature and a post hole that were potentially that we, we were pretty confident were 18th century and therefore potentially related to the Bryce School. So we expanded around those two features uh, to a large extent um, and exposed a very wide area. And what we wound up encountering was a a new building that we didn't know anything about uh, prior to the start of the excavation. So it was a, a small uh, outbuilding most likely. And then we found a series of other post holes uh, for a fence line. And then we found even a third set of post holes, which we're still investigating at right now, that may be part of either the Diggs House and, uh, or the Brace School, and, or even maybe even earlier structure. And just in the last couple days, we've uncovered a hearth feature, uh, a brick hearth, um, for a building. Again, we're trying to assess whether it's uh, from the Brace School or an earlier structure, or maybe even a contemporary structure, since we know there are several buildings that occupy this lot in the uh, late 18th century. So this is the side of the chimney with the cheek. This portion here is the back. And so we're looking this way into the firebox. So this would have been the interior of the structure, we're looking into the firebox of the chimney um, or, the, or the fireplace. Mm -hmm. um, so the bricks are 18th century, most likely, because they're handmade and they're similar size no. to bricks that we see from on 18th century sites. And the mortar is what we call a shell-tempered mortar. Um, its shell was a tempering agent in, in 18th century mortar. So again, that's another indication of how old it is. This dark area is the actual post mold where the post was was seated. And it's darker because either the post decomposed or it was pulled out in darker soil. Filtered in. Yeah, right now I'm working on a large pit feature and we've dug out several layers already. Um, there are a few top layers, one full of charcoal, and now I'm getting down to the bottom layer and starting to see some subsoil, which is this orangish color. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and really excited to get to that other half because there's going to be a lot of good stuff. What's unique about this site is that we know it was, uh, for a very brief time period, the the majority of the people on this lot were enslaved and so that a lot of the artifacts uh, that were generated in that time period that the Bray School was here directly speak to the enslaved students that were attending the school. Yeah. 